Researchers at the Alberta Children's Hospital Research Institute for Child and Maternal Health will be examining the use of non-invasive brain stimulation as a potential new treatment for depression in adolescents. The groundbreaking study involves the use of transcranial magnetic stimulation being demonstrated here to stimulate the frontal lobes, the executive decision-making part of the brain, to offset negative thoughts produced by other parts of the depressed brain. For a good number of teenagers, they don't respond who have depression. They don't respond well to the first-line medications that are used, and they end up still having a lot of depressive symptoms. And for those kids, there's not a lot of evidence, medical evidence, for what to do next. So the point of this study is to try to develop some of that evidence. We've got a new technology called repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation that we'll be using uh, to actually help these kids fight depression. Uh, in teenagers with depression, there's a part of the brain called the frontal lobe, which is the boss of the brain. It tells the other parts what to do, keeps your emotions in check, helps you respond properly to different situations, things like that. In kids with depression, it doesn't function as well uh, as it should. So the goal of the TMS therapy is to use the TMS machine and it uses magnetic fields to actually try to excite or kind of kickstart or give a little boost to that front part of the brain uh, in these kids, allowing them to help fight these symptoms uh, better and to try to get better and get out of the illness state themselves. The pilot study will involve teens suffering from depression who have not had success being treated with conventional antidepressants. It is the first of its kind in Canada and is expected to be completed within two years. It's been used quite extensively in adults and it's an approved standard treatment in adults. Uh, it hasn't been tried extensively in kids mainly because there hasn't been a lot of experience in dealing with the, the TMS technology in kids. But here in Alberta, in Calgary, we're kind of special in that we have one of the only uh, TMS brain stimulation labs, uh, we're the only one in Canada and I'm pretty sure the only one in North America as well. So we're actually on the cutting edge for this here at the Children's Hospital. It is being funded with donations from the Alberta Children's Hospital Aid Society, supporters of the hospital since its inception. Thanks to community funding, the Alberta Children's Hospital is the only children's hospital in Canada with a brain stimulation lab, currently in use to help children who have suffered from stroke. This lab was established through help support from the community. The 3T magnet that we're going to be using as well, again, we wouldn't have that without the support from the community. And the study itself is actually being supported by the Children's Hospital Aid Society. So really this is a kind of an example of, you know, a community coming together to do something to help an affected group of kids that are understudied, that do need help, and to try to make their lives better. Questions about the study can be emailed to braincids at ucalgary.ca.